Tarver needs clothes, you need clothes. You can go up in there and get it. If I have to go through a window, I'll go through a window. The Moses family on a pilgrimage to their shattered home two doors from the collapsed condos, grabbing what little they could from closets in the fridge and hoping at some point they will be able to move back in. Every time I hear a loud boom, I'm scared. You know, I have issues on that. Workers boarded up Ed Constable and Madeline Cayendo's home too. He had to escape without his shoes. The couple says they have been complaining to DCRA for years about what they say were unsafe conditions at the construction site next door. Well, we're furious, but I mean, I guess we're grateful that there's nobody living in the building um, and there's not a Miami situation. DCRA's director insists the agency investigated several complaints, but found no prior violations at the property. It's almost like your home is holding on by a string. It is. Mammy Preston says Kennedy Street reminds her of her home. Another one. Preston's house is barely standing after she says DCRA allowed crews renovating a row house next door to dig under her basement without a permit. How many people have to die before they say okay? The mayor says the city is still trying to figure out what caused the Kennedy Street condos to collapse. It doesn't surprise me. I'm absolutely pissed. Um, I don't want, I want more than answers. I want some change. So far, the only comment from the developer, relief that his workers should survive, a promise to cooperate with the investigation, and a suggestion that the storm is to blame for this. In Brightwood Park, D.C., Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.